The Coinsuris channel is pleased to have you back. This video's disagreeable subject is the UK's crypto regulation. The logic behind this is that our company and the market would suffer a hit if other countries followed their lead and made these regulations a sham. This could further exacerbate the already dire scenario in the US caused by the SEC's, or rather, its, opposition to the expansion of the Bitcoin business. However, there is some positive news to report today. The German Bundesbank recognized XRP for its practicality and ease of use. Please give me a moment to look at it carefully. The UK government is presently formulating a plan to regulate the cryptocurrency market. The cryptocurrency market is about to undergo a sea change as the British government gets ready to establish regulatory structures. A lot of people think this will simplify things for crypto fans and investors and lead to wider adoption of the technology. We go deep into the background of this decision, the key aspects of the proposed law, and the potential effects on the cryptocurrency market and its participants. With more and more blockchain firms, investors, and engineers popping up, the UK is slowly but surely becoming a cryptocurrency powerhouse. The allure of decentralized finance and the potential for substantial gains have sped up the Bitcoin adoption curve. Because Bitcoin and related activities are just getting bigger and better. To protect consumers and maintain economic stability, the British government has recognized the necessity for laws. With the new regulations in place, the cryptocurrency industry hopes to provide investors and companies with more clarity and trust in the market. Assuming the UK government follows through on its ambitious ambitions, the cryptocurrency industry will be heavily regulated. Stable coins, particularly those used for retail payments, will be regulated under the future legislation. More crypto assets and related activities will be subject to regulation in the future as the government intends to expand its regulatory horizons. There is hope that the new framework would bring the rules governing the issuance, trade, and borrowing of cryptocurrency tokens into closer alignment with the existing financial regulatory setup. This agreement should lead to a more organized and secure environment for both institutional and individual participants in the Bitcoin market. The UK is making strides toward its aim of developing a comprehensive regulatory framework for the cryptocurrency business. This framework will include all parts of the market. Legislators will enact new cryptocurrency regulation powers for the Financial Conduct Authority FCA, in 2024. This encompasses a variety of digital currencies, including stable coins. Many are looking forward to the release of stable coins due to the potential they have as a means of exchange, whose value will not fluctuate. The UK government is seeking to regulate stable currencies so that they are held to the same standards as more conventional means of payment, having been attracted to their potential. There are potential hazards associated with stable coin use, thus, rules pertaining to capital governance and investor protection will likely be a component of any solution. The proposed law seeks to regulate a diverse array of crypto assets and associated activities, going beyond stable coins. The role of intermediaries like wallets, exchanges, and others is crucial to the crypto ecosystem. By broadening its regulatory framework, the United Kingdom hopes to encourage innovation and development in the Bitcoin business, safeguard consumers, and keep the economy stable. The exponential growth of cryptocurrencies has coincided with fresh concerns about their use in illicit activities, such as money laundering and the financing of terrorism. Financial Action Task Force and other international organizations have set standards for anti-money laundering and counterfinancing of terrorism AML /CFT, processes, and the proposed law will standardize these processes for cryptocurrency. It follows that crypto service providers should brace themselves for strict KYC and anti-money laundering regulations. In its approach to crypto legislation, the UK government has taken a middle ground between fostering innovation and safeguarding consumers. By outlining these rules, the government hopes to encourage safe innovation in the Bitcoin sector and lessen the dangers that entrepreneurs face. The coordinated regulatory framework could open the way for new advancements in the cryptocurrency field, benefiting businesses, investors, and startups. As a result of the UK's reputation as a safe haven for institutional investors and global crypto companies, the country's crypto ecosystem is likely to grow. The regulatory structure is based on the principle of providing strong consumer protection. 
Through the use of open protocols and protections, now more than ever, people can engage in crypto activities without fear. As a result, this is expected to increase sales. Transparency and trustworthiness within the Bitcoin trade. The cryptocurrency industry has entered a critical juncture as the UK moves closer to crypto regulation. To fill the regulatory void and establish a favorable environment for crypto players, the proposed bill is an all-encompassing plan. When the UK embarks on this new regulatory frontier, the global crypto community will be watching with bated breath to see what happens and what lessons may be learned. The continuous advancements in the crypto regulatory framework of the UK demonstrate the growing acknowledgement of the significance of cryptocurrency in the contemporary financial environment. Although there may be some positive news in the headlines, the reality is far from apparent because of the poor experiences with regulation in many nations, including the US. I said what was on my mind from the very beginning. I'm crossing my fingers that something good comes out of this. Meanwhile, on to the next piece of news. A paper by the German Central Bank emphasizes XRP and Ripple. In a report by the Deutsche Bundesbank, innovations in the payment landscape for service providers are mentioned, including Ripple and XRP. The Deutsche Bundesbank just released a report. In a July publication, the German Central Bank emphasized the potential for Ripples to shake up the financial sector. The paper provides an overview of developments in the international monetary system, touching on topics such as the advent of blockchain and distributed ledger technology (DLT) and how it creates obstacles for international money transfers. As an example, the Deutsche Bundesbank study site is Ripley, and it discusses DLT-busted money forms and infrastructure in a way that is eerily similar to RippleNet, which is now known as Ripple Payments. The study from the central bank recognized the network's ability to efficiently bring together payment service providers. Very much so. According to the research, one solution that Ripple offers is its on-demand liquidity OTL service, which allows clients to get credit and transfer funds without the need for pre-funding, just like in the conventional banking system. Customers can utilize XRP on the network, according to the Deutsche Bundesbank article. There are dangers associated with legal counterparty and exchange rate exposure, nevertheless, which the document does recognize. According to the research, XRP's volatility and Ripple's continuing litigation with the U.S. securities regulator make it unsuitable for certain payment use cases. Recognizes Ripple's as a worldwide payment solution. This new development continues a trend of top institutions throughout the world praising Ripple's innovations in the payment area. A study on CBDC and international payments included Ripple in October's report from the Nigerian Central Bank. Likewise, Deutsche Bank and the Bank of America also praised Ripple in their own evaluations for its ability to smooth out international money transfers. In contrast to the Bank of America report's emphasis on payment innovation, Deutsche Bank's Asia-Pacific version details how XRP facilitates the transfer of assets via the Ripple network. All of the above points to the importance of Ripple's payment solution. Additionally, it suggests that more banking collaborations may be in the works to encourage the broad use of Rippling products. In light of the ever-changing financial landscape, the recent research by the Deutsche Bundesbank discussing Ripple and XRP is highly relevant. Ripple, with its RippleNet platform, is effectively establishing a foothold in the conventional financial ecosystem. The paper highlights Ripple's capacity to optimize cross-border transactions through the use of DLT. It's as if you're witnessing the most efficient solution ever found to a difficult cryptographic challenge. A groundbreaking feature of Ripple is the ability to access credit via an ODL solution and rely on bilateral credit arrangements. The Ripple's approach, in contrast to the traditional method of making cross-border payments, which involves a web of financial intermediaries like a convoluted maze, cuts out the middleman, speeds up the transaction, and eliminates the need for pre-funding. Nevertheless, the study must address the concerns regarding legal parties and the potential hazards related to exchange rates while discussing XRP. All of these worries highlight the difficulties of dealing with cryptocurrency, a sector that places a premium on safety and reliability. Widespread use of Ripple in specific payment scenarios may be impeded by the current legal struggle with the SEC and the volatility of XRP, two major concerns. 
Finally, Ripple's potential is further demonstrated by the recognition it is gaining from major banks. The fact that Ripple has already attracted the attention of major financial institutions like Bank of America and Deutsche Bank shows that it is making waves in the industry and could lead to further partnerships in the banking sector. Do you agree that this new one is an improvement over the previous one? So, that concludes today's news update. Now let's go to the review of the market. The cryptocurrency Bitcoin will be examined first. Within our allotted time. Breaking through the support level at 41,009, it rebounded from the lower imbalance barrier. 127, and then lowered themselves to check the $40,182 level that the last squeeze had reached. From here, we can observe a return to the prior support, which has now turned into resistance, consolidating above proved impossible, and now we can see the correction. In order to proceed higher, we must consolidate above 41,927. Altcoins have been able to demonstrate solid growth, despite Bitcoin's decline in dominance, which has dropped significantly to 53%. At this point, the XRP Ripple situation resembles Bitcoin in structure. Its 30 billion US dollars valuation gives it a lot of clout, but it's more Bitcoin dependent than the others. It is enormous, and until Bitcoin's value increases, we won't see any cannon shots fired from it. I can only provide you with the level that has irritated everyone so far for the time being. Just 0.6204 breaking it and consolidating above it is our next step. As other characters engage in combat. Keep watching. We must patiently await the growth of BTC. To open a position from the ones that are already available, you will first need to sit in it. I think it's best to hold off till things settle down. My time here is now up, don't get caught up in the excitement, thinking that everything will fall into place once you do. With the Bundesbank's green light for Ripple and XRP, as well as an examination of the current state of the local market, today we covered crypto regulation in the UK. Will things go more smoothly for Europe, or will they make a lot of blunders like the SEC? How will these regulations affect cryptocurrency? Let us know what you think by leaving a comment. Do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. Catch you later, farewell.